So here we are, day one of your 30-day squat challenge. Now the great thing about this challenge, about this very small but effective start into strength training, is that we don't have to go to the gym. You can do these exercises in your home with zero equipment. You can do them, in fact, I'm going to recommend that you do them in your kitchen. Now again, the squat is an ancient human movement. Human beings have been getting up and down, down and up, just about like this for thousands of years. To make it a squat, we're going to apply modern exercise science and your attention to it. We're going to do this in the kitchen because we're actually going to use the kitchen sink. First I'm going to show you the squat turn profile using the kitchen sink for a little bit of support. I call these hook squats. Now there are six body positions to pay attention to in a squat and you don't have to worry about all of them today. They're listed in today's email, but today we're going to focus mostly on the feet. The squat starts with good posture. My feet are slightly wider than shoulder width. I'm tall. My chin is tucked. My shoulders are back. And the first thing I do is I push my butt back so that my weight is on my heels and I can tap my toes. Now with my hands on the kitchen sink, holding with my fingers hooked a little bit, I'm just going to push that butt back and sink down. Notice my knees come a little bit forward, but not too far, and then I'm going to push right back up. Ideally, you're going to get all the way down to what I call coffee cup flat. You can set your coffee cup on your thigh right there, or maybe a tiny bit lower. Feel free to use the sink to help you there, but don't let the knees come way back. Don't let them go way forward. Very important is that you're driving through the heels. When I'm down here, I can still tap my toes, and I'm really driving through the heel. I've got 80% of my weight on that heel. I could tap my toes one toe at a time at any time throughout that squat. The knees are staying right about at or slightly behind the toe line. They're not coming way forward. That is incorrect. I want to be back as if I'm aiming my tailbone at a point behind me on the ground. And then you come right back up with a straight back. Now if that's too deep for you today, you only go as deep as you can go. You can get about a quarter or a third of a squat and get a very nice beginning to this 30 day challenge. Remember, today we are only doing 10 squats and I've already done three. If you've done them with me, you've already done three. Now you may warm up with just a couple of little shallow ones and you decide when you're going to start to count them and come all the way down. Notice my fingers are just hooking in like that and I'm right back up. That knee stays right about at the toe line. Driving through the heels the whole time. Nice tall spine, but it is allowed to lean forward a little bit. And don't worry if these aren't perfect. You'll be able to get a lot more pointers as we move through. So another look at the feet. Notice my feet are slightly wider than shoulder width and they're very square. If your feet tend to turn out like that, I want you to turn them in so that they're very square and it may feel like you're a little bit pigeon-toed. Again, I start tall. The first move is to push my hips back. I can tap my toes. I can tap my toes. I can tap my toes. That's the heel drive coming all the way down. Now, if you can squat this deep without using the sink, go ahead and do that. That's the level you're at and that's fine. That's how you want to begin. You'll come all the way down. I like to put my hands in front of me either like this or out like this. I'm coming right down all the way back on the heels. Notice this is not a squat. That's a deep knee bend like my dad used to do and those are out these days. A squat drives through the heels to engage the glutes back on the back of the leg muscles here and the back of the hips. This is how you want to get your squats nice and deep. Again if you can't get that deep go only as deep as you can and that will increase as the 30 days go on. But if you're able to do this take them right down all the way down for your full 10 squats for today. That's your first day. Tally up 10. If you end up doing 15, mark them on your sheet. This is the daily squats tracking sheet that's attached to today's email. You're going to want to print this and keep it near where you do your squats. Every time you do a squat, or three, or five, or 10, mark down how many you've done. Keep track of them in this column down here. When you begin, that's today, Put the day that today is, Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, right in that first slot and then fill out the sequential days all the way down so that you'll have a nice record, you'll know when your rest days are, and you'll know how many your target is each day. Congratulations, you've begun.